back to Am and Key TV. <laughs> so, as you know, late upload, but today is Girl Talk Day. Girl featuring talk, girl our special talk. guest, Miss Key Erica, Key, and Key. <laughs> We've known her for a minute, so welcome to the AK family. Thank you for having me. Are you excited? Hi, Your yeah. first girl talk? Girl finally made it. We well, only keep it week. real on girl talk, so you gotta keep it real, so Be open, be funny. And the topics can range from anything like sex to I've anything. Been watching, I already know. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> so as y'all know, this is episode four, week four. And y'all know what we're gonna do without further ado. Let's get into the video. So, question number one. Do strict parents create sneaky kids? Definitely. <laughs> Heck yes. yes. Right. Like, if you got a strict parent, you're going to grow up to be sneaky, wild. You're going to be wild in, doing everything you want to do. You're going to be out there, for real. Especially if you uh, going to college, them college yes. days. Yeah. I can't wait to get out. <laughs> Like, Trying if you are a shelter kid, or if, okay, I'm gonna speak for myself. I was the only child. It was just me, my mom, my grandma, and her brother in the house. And when they passed away, it was just my mom and I. So I was like 11 when they passed. So the older I got, the less I started talking to her. Like, I used to openly ask her, like, hey, can I go such and such and place? Or can I do this? Can I do that? But the older I got, and the more risky my stuff got that I wanted to do, I felt like she would start telling me no. So I was like, all right, bitch. I just didn't say anything. Like, I played it off. I'm going to be with Kier. Whole time, I never saw Kier that day. But, like, I just stopped asking her to do stuff. So I went, well, I guess it would be sneaky. I didn't lie about it. I just didn't tell her about it either. So it was just like, it just happened. But, like, my whole teenage years consisted of me doing things and she never knew about it. So if you're watching this now, Sorry, but I made it out. Didn't nothing bad happen to me. <laughs> but yeah, I would definitely agree. Like, my mama wasn't strict. But I just felt like if I had asked her to do some of the things, even half the things I wanted to do coming up, oh, she would have told me no. Cause my mama stayed telling me no. I'd be like, huh? Nope. <laughs> I'd be like, nope. Like that, uh, like the sound. Nope. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> nope. So I just felt like she was telling me no. So I was like, to the boy hearing no. I just won't say it at all. Just go and get it out the way. She hear about it years later, or yeah. So they definitely create sneaky kids. Like I said, my mama wasn't strict. She was the nicest parent out of everybody. Like out of all my friends, but I still feel like some of the stuff I wanted to do, she would have told me no in a heartbeat. Well, my mama, she really let me do like most of the stuff I wanted to do. So I'm not really that sneaky. I'm just sneaky on my own. Like it ain't got nothing to do with her. <laughs> <laughs> and I really think that. Me coming up that way during my teen years is the reason why I act like I do today. I'm very private. I'm very reserved. I can see you every day, be in your face every day, and still do my dirty. You never know about it. Ask her. She know. Well, she don't know, but uh, she, can, she can vouch for that. Like, I really do believe that's why I am the way I am today. I don't like people in my business. I don't tell my business because telling you my business you fall out with me, you gonna run and tell so and so. Then so and so already don't like me, like my business in the street now. Mm mm, I'm straight. Do my friends. Man. Do my dirt alone. Do Nobody ever friends. find out about it. It's just me and that person. Is it? So do you have strict parents? Well, I had. Yeah, my mom was a strict parent. Um, she, she wasn't like that strict. She was just really overprotective and do the most. Like she had to meet. All my parents, my friends. Oh, she parents. wanted them. You gotta yeah. have the number, Call, the address. Minutes. <laughs> she, yeah, she gotta know where I'm going, how long, all that. And it was just, that's how she was. So, so you really I, couldn't enjoy yourself out because no, she would keep calling you? No. And then, like, Ooh, I would hate that. You know, me. Like, for instance, y'all remember Crystal Palace? Yeah. My mama hated that place. Like, she never <laughs> wanted me to go. For those of you who don't know, Crystal Palace is a skating rink in Memphis. It's no longer in existence. So, yeah, yeah. it's where all the little teenagers used to go. Yeah, Basically, yeah. our club. Yeah. The yeah. teenage club. Yeah. She never wanted me to go. I remember my friend. She had her birthday there. And her, I got her mama to even, even live for me so I could go. She told <laughs> she told mama we were staying at the house and doing a little slumber party and stuff. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I agree that um, they be ready to wild out. But luckily for me, I moved like with my dad 
towards my later teenage years and he like let me do more stuff, stuff more freely yeah. so yeah i was i was straight by then okay well since we're on the topic of dads your dad was in your life for a, a little bit yeah. your dad you know y'all are like this yeah <laughs> um okay so i never had a father in my life mm -hmm. okay I'm trying to worry my question because this is not a question somebody gave me. It just inspired me when you start talking about your dad. Relationships you've been in with your dad in your life, do you think that has influenced like people you look for or like helped you find better relationships? Like I know what I'm trying to say, mm -hmm. but I don't know how to word it. Right. Like, do you see like some aspects or qualities of, of your having dad your dad in your life that has like helped your relationships? Because I know my dad were never in my life, so. Mm -hmm. I go through a lot. Um, That's a good question because my dad was in my life, like in my younger days, not mm -hmm. in my older days. Mm -hmm. So, I so which know. one do y'all want to go first? She can go first because this basically a uh, older question, relationships and stuff. Like, well, yeah, I, I would say it does because I mean he always like talks to me about what you know a, a dude should do and all that, what they should, how they should act and all that stuff. So I think it does help me look for specific things. And also like my relationship, I look, somebody, I look for somebody who's always gonna make me laugh, laugh, cause me and my dad, we can talk all day, joke all day, laugh all day. Like we got this, we like movies, stuff like that. So yeah, I think it does- um, Play a big part. Yeah, play a part in what I look for. So basically you try to find Somebody and, who like resembles your dad. No, you? and I just what I was gonna say. But at the same time, like my dad, outside of being a parent, is he not nothing? <laughs> so, <laughs> so he, while telling me what I need to be, how I should He's be treated, the he doing the opposite, okay. so I can see what like, not to do. Yeah, yeah see, okay. see what niggas really do and how to, you know, he t he he teach me the game basically a little bit in a way. That's kind of cool though. Yeah. Okay. I love their relationship. I really right do. Too. I like watching y'all on Snapchat. Like, yeah. they're literally best friends. Y'all do everything yeah. together. I'm really blessed. I appreciate it. Because I know it's not. Yeah, my dad, the one in my life, he's more of a sperm on the sneeze than a father. And it's crazy because, like, he was in, like, my siblings' lives. He just wasn't in mine. So I think that influences, like, my relationships, basically. Like, I know I used to always grow up saying, like, you don't need a daddy around. My mom is my daddy. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, like, you really need both parents. You need that balance. Yeah. Both female and male need the balance of both parents equally as bad. Mm -hmm. Females, as far as, like, dating-wise. Dudes, as far as, like, becoming a, a man. Like, mm -hmm. you don't want to shelter your son with just a single parent, mother, anyway. Especially a mama, because mamas, they like to spoil their yes. kids way your too child much. gonna be a little fruity. Right. <laughs> Keep sheltering him like that. Like he needs some hardness, some toughness, oh, some yeah. men yeah. in his life. But I don't want to, I think that influenced like the people who I have dealt with in the past because a lot of stuff that I tolerated shouldn't have been tolerated basically. And it's like if I had somebody, I mean, some of it is common sense, yeah. But you're gonna do your, what you want to do anyway. Yeah, I was just gonna say because even though he's, I still didn't make some mistakes and have plenty of problems and stuff still. Mm -hmm. so. That's part of growing up, yeah. basically. And yeah, I mean, we always go off, off topic from my topic, so let me just. Um, first of all, ma'am, this this is for you. What? Our last girl talk. Y'all remember when I asked? Um, what she want to bring up? Funny? Oh, no. <laughs> what she want to bring up? Funny? Oh, so. What's your funniest? We got a whole new day. No, <laughs> you didn't ask me last oh, week. You didn't ask me day. last week. Your favorite, your funniest, hot or drunk. What am I answering? Cause I ain't have no favorite or you, funniest. You gotta say something. We said something. I don't know. I got too many. I be say high one. all the time. Say so one of each. She thought she was slick, y'all. She <laughs> thought we want to catch her not saying. It. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Shoot, let me see. Last night, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so last night, what happened last night? We went to Buffalo Wild Wings and got drinks. You gotta start with downtown first to lead up oh, to while we eat the Yesterday. Okay, so, so really 
We went that way. Did we go get food before that? Yeah, we went to McAllister's. Okay, so we made up at McAllister's to get like lunch or whatever. And after that, like it was some stuff that went down. So you know, I was like, I need a drink. I need to relax, relax my mind. So I was like, I'm getting up tonight. I want to get drunk. All it. Oh yeah. We left McAllister's. We went downtown. Got us a big, large drink slushy. Even though it wasn't hitting that much, we was hitting a little bit. So we had I never a little felt buzz. Like I had a little buzz off of that, and then after that, where we go? We went to Buffalo Wild Wings. We came home first. But we didn't do nothing there. We didn't. We came home, went to Buffalo Wild Wings. We got drinks, and then the lady at the bar gave us around two of Shout drinks. out to you, because you didn't even know that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she did buy this to drinks. Shout out to her. <laughs> Second round on her. I love people, y'all. I love people. She looked older. She said, Are they older than 21? She was like, Yeah, we check their IDs, like they're of age or whatever. She said, Well, get them whatever they want on me. I was like, I was like, Thank you. First time at like a bar bar, and I had a long island iced tea. And you was he. Okay. Them Long Islands, they be strong for real. But they weren't as strong as I thought it would have been, though. But it, Long it was Island be strong. Like, when the first time I had a Long Island, I was stumbling out of the <laughs> Buffalo Wild Wings. But yeah, um, so. It so, went downhill from there. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, um, so we was walking out the door. The man the man was holding the door for her. She was still trying to get hand sanitizer and stuff. She was like, come on. Oh, going in. I'm going in. Yeah. I thought it was going Remember out. Remember, he brushed me so much. Come on, y'all. No. I think that was when we was going out. So, we was leaving out. <laughs> what? First Dang, of all, was messed up already. First of all, she was messed up at the bar, y'all. Let me rewind this story. <laughs> so, we're at the bar. I finished my Long Island. She had two of, what was all those things? The little, it had peach. It was peach crown. She had two of those. And she said at the bar, her phone started tweaking. She like, no. Ah, I forgot about that. Y'all, the bartender turned around. She tripping. She like, yeah, she messed up. She feel it. She said, I hope you drive. I said, I got it. I'm driving. So I go to the restroom, whatever, come out. She's like, I paid for both our stuff. Like, we good. I'm like, all right, bitch. So we had to sign it, y'all. This man trying to sign it. So I'm going to give her a $5 tip. Nah, $5 too much. So I ain't giving her that. I'm going to give her two. I said, I ain't giving her five. Five too much. I'm giving her two. Like, she ain't even do nothing. She right there at the bar. She ain't have to come back and check on us. She really didn't. So she give her the $2 or whatever. We get our cards back. She give her the pen back. And we leave the receipt. So we get up. She out. So she bumps into me getting off the bar stool, y'all. I'm like, why you didn't just go that way? Like, you came back on the side I'm on. So, she's stumbling. Now, mind you, Buffalo Wild Wings closed at this point. You know, Corona had everything closing early. Um, so, all the workers, like, standing near the door. We can ready to walk out the door. The door was heavy, y'all. I'm trying to push the door. I thought they had locked it. I'm pushing the door. It was not moving. He like, just push hard, push hard. She almost walked into a picture glass window, y'all. Nothing but glass. <laughs> She almost walked into it, so everybody over there tripping. They're like, yeah, she missed up. I don't know what that is. <laughs> so we walk out the door, we go to the car. She walk out the Buffalo Wild Wings. She's like, yes, I'm the <laughs> She's like, yeah. that's how y'all know I be feeling my drink. When I start getting loud and screaming my words and stuff, that's how y'all know I'm me. Yeah, we outside in Olive Branch. Olive Branch. <laughs> so those of you who know what Olive Branch is, y'all know they don't play out there. It's one of them little suburb cities. Please be on you, boy. I play. She outside, I'm so late. <laughs> <laughs> so we get in the car, crank the car up. We coming down, what's it, 304, 305, headed back, you know, like car you be away. So, you know, we in the car, cruising a little bit. Yeah. The I'm whole turned. way home. I'm turned. The I'm whole turned. way home. She ain't even passed to see all at the window. A whole sheriff slid beside us. It's a sheriff. So we still driving with them. We coming down Hex Cross. Now, mind you, I got a whistle this morning. We stole my mama's car to the gate. We in the gate, right? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I'm, we get to this red light. I'm like, I bet you won't get out. What I say there for, baby? She flew out the car, though. Oh! at the car door now i didn't know that the light was gonna turn green so she all that sad she like what we finna do she running through there the light turned green i thought she was gonna take <laughs> off and leave me i had to hurry up and rub it to the top <laughs> <laughs> all the way in the other lane it's three lanes on the street she in the first lane i'm all the way in the lane over here i was like oh don't you <laughs> so y'all this girl should need some nasty to so jump into the passenger seat, baby. She, my knee hit the door and everything. She hit the door right. First of all, she hit the door getting out the car. She ran into the door. <laughs> but getting back in the car, y'all, she jumped in the car and hit the door. And she hit the side of the, the seat. Like, she was just, ooh, ooh, ooh. I said, come on, close the door. Because so she's she, trying to still take out while getting in the car like that. <laughs> Let me get in first. So she closes the door. Now, mind you, when you close the door, the car was right there, right? Car falls out. We didn't notice it then. Mm -hmm. We're gonna put the words at the bottom. We need the car to get in the gate. Can't get in the gate. I'm like, give me the car. She's like, it must have fell down the side. Of the <laughs> she said, just give me the car or whatever. Can't find it. She gets out. Y'all, she's so quick, so so quick. She's like, where the car? <laughs> she like, where the car? Where the car? So we searching the, the car. car. We searching the car, y'all. The car was not there. So somebody feels sorry for us and let us in the gate. <laughs> they thought we was looking for. We was out there looking for at least a long time. Three, three to five minutes. So we come in, we use the bathroom. We like, I got. I'm like, we gotta go retrace our steps. Now mind you, she didn't want to go retrace the steps. I said, where's the fifty five dollars? Who got this fifty five dollars? And just we need to give her like this. So we come in, girl. She like, well, can't get back in. I said, nope, we're going to find this car today. <laughs> I was determined to find that car. So I was like, it could only be either at the red light, we just left the gas station. When she said no, it was in the car when we went to the gas station. So she was like, it's either in the, at the light or, mind you, she showed out at the light twice in two different parts of the light. <laughs> One time going this way. The second time, because she didn't get to show out right there because the light turned green, she like, circle around, I want to get it on this side. So, yeah. So, we weren't really sure which light to which look at. Which light? Which side of the light, really? Yeah. So, we went to the first side first and went over there. But the side I told y'all, she needed her gymnastics stunt. We didn't start this side yet. So, we was headed back to Buffalo Wild and I said, nah, let's just go and go back to the light. So, we bust the U turn, go back to the light, get in the middle lane now. She was over there in the third lane. <laughs> I was driving in the first lane, so we got in the middle lane to look both ways. We look and we look. She said, forget these, we finna get out of search. We get out and look, whatever. Now, mind you, I didn't see it behind the car. I didn't go, like, on this side or in front. But she spotted the white thing. She like, ooh, we got the, we got it. <laughs> so, I'm gonna insert the clip here. <laughs> we got the thing! But, yeah. That night, last yes, night. Yes, so we this up real quick. Last night was a movie. It was fun. And we made plenty of TikToks. So that was cross faded. So this two and one. <laughs> two for one deal. That's her um girl talk episode three that she never did answer. I got y'all. See I was gonna make her answer there. Don't worry, I got y'all. Whatever. Okay. Um the next topic is mental health. Now the reason why this topic came up is because a friend of mine from middle school i mean from high school whatever told me a story of something that she was going through now i'm not gonna say her name but i'm gonna like give brief kind of like summaries of what she was saying um she was saying basically how she just got up got out of a severe depression followed by severe anxiety she still has minor anxiety but it's a day-by-day -day thing she said the coronavirus has really thrown off a lot of things for her mental and she had too much free time on her hands. And when school started back, you know, school just recently started back, she said, at least it's something to look forward to or whatever. And she was like, basically what led to is that she was overthinking about something one day, got in too deep with her thoughts to a point where she couldn't think anymore. She was like, I know that sounded like unrealistic and probably not believable, but it was true. She said, and it's a real thing called brain fog. She said, so the next day or whatever, she was doing homework at her boyfriend's house 
ended up having a panic attack. And at the same time, she didn't know it was a panic attack because she never had one before. So she realized like later after thinking about the situation again, what it was. She said she so cried. So what is a panic, panic attack? Like three different times or something? We're gonna Google it when I finish reading this. Okay. It's like, so you can't really describe it because panic attacks happen differently in everybody. So mm -hmm. I'm just gonna tell you what Google says. But she was like, she cried her eyes out that whole day and she didn't know why she was crying. She just felt like she was lost, like she was living. Her body was still alive, but her spirit was elsewhere. She said, I just didn't feel present with myself. From that day on, the brain fog continued and she couldn't eat. She started seeing a the therapist. She said, but the therapist didn't really help her. So she stopped going. She said day to day, she wouldn't say many words. So eventually she got to the point where she was basically a mute. She was just there, but she wasn't talking. People like, you know, are you good? Like, are you hungry? She wasn't saying a word, she just to herself. And she was like, when it did come time to talk, she couldn't remember how to spell simple words. She couldn't remember how to formulate sentences. And she said, and it was frustrating her. So she began to lose her memory a lot. She said, you know, her therapy did, her therapy did like questionnaires and going over the symptoms and the signs. And as a result, you know, came back saying she was both severely depressed and she had anxiety or whatever. So she said she went to YouTube for help, like watching videos like this and just hearing people, like real humans, real people, real life stories, talking about their problems, and it helped her. Um, she said it helped her clear her head and understand, you know, give her clarity. She said, but really what really got her through was prayer. Prayer and, and like YouTube videos like this. She said she gained peace. Also educating herself at the same time on the depths of anxiety and how to help ease the pain and how to, all of it. And she said, you know, I was really committed to the process of being a more self-sufficient person. Like I turned to prayer, got on a more consistent work schedule. She said she lost her job because of Corona. So having a lot of free time is not always good because of things like this. So she was out of school, out of work, and you know, it jump started the inability to deal with what she was going through. So when she said that, and like, that's just a brief description, but we really had like a long in-depth talk about this. And I was like, see, mental health really needs to be addressed. Like, I know we say this in all our girl talk videos, like, how are y'all doing? Like, it's easy to be like, I'm fine, I'm okay. But, but honestly, are you really yeah. deep down inside? Like, are you really okay? Because y'all, like, I see her all the time on Snapchat. Never knew she was going through this. And I'm like, you know, you've always been like a little sister to me. Like, you can talk to me. She said, I know I should have reached out. But at that point, I really wasn't talking to anybody. And I can understand, like, with the corona still going around, it's a lot to deal with. It's a lot to process. It's a lot to everything. Like, you can't go nowhere, really. If you do, you got to wear a mask. So, basically, you still can't go nowhere. You can't really do nothing. Everything closing early. But people starting to, like, extend their hours again. But it's still not the same. And I think this is our new normal. Like, I don't think we're going back to how the world used to be. Mm -hmm. At least not for the next two years. And... It's just crazy that somebody that close to home, like, went through this. Like, y'all, it's real. I know I have my days when I don't want to talk to nobody. And I, I feel like I be sometimes slipping into, like, a... I went full out, like, depression, but, like, you know, I be stressed to the point where sometimes I do feel like... You just want to shut down. It's yeah. Like, you yeah. depressed, your body just shut down. You don't want to talk to nobody. You don't want to do nothing. You just want to be alone yeah. by yourself, just laying around, being lazy, like, but you actually have to make yourself get up and at least, like, try to talk to somebody. Like, somebody you trust, you can really, you know, feel comfortable opening up with and stuff. Like, that's important, too. Even if you don't want to, I think, like, expressing yourself. Even, like, you can, like, make a little YouTube, I mean, or a little video. Like, it can be a diary or something. Just talking it out, basically. That's what I feel like would help. Okay, and you asked me what a panic attack was. It says it's a sudden episode of intense fear or anxiety and physical symptoms based on a perceived threat rather than immense, imminent danger. Dang, y'all, don't judge me. Okay, like, do they have an example? Like, I need an example. Yeah, because I be thinking I have panic attacks, but they probably not. Okay, it says symptom number one is heart palpitations. Like, you know, your heart beats suddenly gets faster mm -hmm. and you start having that fight or flight response oh, like okay, okay. um hold on let me find some more symptoms 
So this kind of like having anxiety too. Chest pain. Um, I just take too long to find on this one. Sorry, hold on. Panic attack. Symptoms of a panic attack. Sense of impeding doom or danger. Fight or flight response when your heart starts rapidly racing. Um, fear of loss or control of death or death, rapid pounding heart rate, sweating, trembling or shaking, shortness of breath or tightness in your throat, chills, high flashes, and like yeah, I know a whole lot like. more. <laughs> yeah. And like, y'all know how you see on movies, people be like, breathe into a brown paper bag. Don't know why, but that works. Like, it's not just movies, it's not just TV. It actually works. Because like, if you're in the hospital, they'll give you not like a brown paper bag, but they'll give you a they like a little thing, thing where your thing. yeah where your air can go through yeah. and you it's something about that motion of doing it that calms you don't know why i don't know how but like so yeah. you breathe into them like regular regular that word regularly just like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah and you know like you be breathing fast like so you're gonna be breathing to the bag faster then it's gonna eventually slow your heart rate and get uh, you back to normal so just doing it in that type of bag yeah. like sometimes people have panic attacks so severely you don't even know how to help them. Like, they just... it. I've never had a panic attack, but I've seen somebody have one before. And it's like, it's really nothing you can do to them. Like, you be trying to calm them down, but at the same time, their fight or flight is activated. And they're not going to listen to you. They're in their self-destruct mode, basically. Like, all I can say, y'all, try to find something that's, like, calming for you. Like, yoga, yeah. dance. Yeah. Or take work out. To take your mind off the yeah. situation. Go for a walk. Get drinks. Whatever yeah, you stay do. Stay active. Stay busy. Doing something that you don't normally do, or doing something that you love doing. Because just as easily as she was saying that she felt like she was alone, she could have severely like hurt herself. She could have killed herself because she felt like this is. A lot of people do when they're stressed, when they're depressed, when they're in that mind state, especially when nobody knows. That's why a lot of sudden suicides pop up. And you're like, dang, like, I just thought of my dad. Well, he he ha hiding in my face, but y'all y'all never know what somebody's going through. Take, for example, Chadwick Boseman. He just recently died. Had colon cancer, stage four. We didn't even know. Nope. He did 10 movies in the last four years, y'all. We didn't mm-hmm. even know. That's a soldier. He was filming mm-hmm. those movies in between surgeries, in between chemotherapy. And people really clowned him recently when he popped up. Uh, you know, jaws sunk all in, you know, clothes, baggy. He was sick, y'all. We didn't even know it. Just like that. Like, he died, you know, because of complications of his colon cancer, but she could have killed herself. Just the same, like, a lot of... You just really never know what somebody's going through. Like, just because people... <laughs> Come and use me for an example again. If you see me out in public, you'll be like, she got a mean face. She's like, she mean. Yeah, I'm the nicest person in the world. Like, I'm really a goofy person. But at the same time, like, you might see somebody out that you think is okay. Deep down, they're begging for somebody to ask them how they're doing, begging for somebody to talk to. Like, a lot of people, like me, not the type to go out and be like, let me vent to you, let me tell you what's going on. I hold it in. It's like if somebody asks me, though, then I'd be like, okay, I guess. It depends on how, like, like I said, I hold stuff in so long. When I be in my breaking point, I will talk. I might not tell you all, but I'm going to tell you enough to get back to being my reserved self. Not telling nothing, which is not good either. Holding stuff in ain't good. Because I know I never cry, really. When I get to crying, it's because I been held stuff in for so freaking long. It's like a dam has over, like, overfilled and it's just flowing out. You know, I'm coming out with everything in. But... Just please make sure you check up on your friends, check up on your family. Be nice to people, y'all. Don't just be mean to people and saying anything. You never know what people are going through. For and real. you never know what a smile or a simple how are you somebody. could do for somebody. Just a simple hey, like I see you. Mm-hmm. I see you. Like, what's wrong? A hug could go a long way. It really could. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> So y'all, you want to explain to them what you told Lucy about the light? I was just saying it's making my eye water, and it's making me blink a lot. <laughs> I don't know. We, we might be used to the light. Mm. The life of YouTubers. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay. So the next topic is a, like dudes blaming a female and getting mad at them for situations they created together. Like another friend of mine, I'm not gonna say her name, but basically her and this guy had been messing around for a minute or whatever. Now mind you, he has a kid already. And her and him had stopped talking for a while. Couple couple years actually. He pops back up, you know, do the charming thing niggas always do. And you know, one thing led to the next, they got back to doing what they would do. And here's the thing, like she's on birth control, like the pill or whatever. And speaking of birth control, this one I talked about before. This for a different moment. But, you know, she's on the pill or whatever. Oh, and, yeah, <laughs> and basically she had kind of stopped taking it for a minute and so she thought she was pregnant so she hits him up or whatever and she's like i might be pregnant and he's like well you should have took plan b if you knew you might have been pregnant now mind you this situation is created from two people right it takes two people to make a baby so you can't get mad at her for something that you lack doing basically so he told her basically if you are pregnant, you on your own, I already got a baby, I'm not gonna be there in the baby life. And she like, this is what you feel about me? Like, really? She said, no, I'm not gonna get a plan B. I'm not going to go to the doctor to find out if I'm pregnant or not, if I am. I am, I'll raise it on my own. She is a good one, baby. And I just feel like it takes two, like I said, to create a situation like that. So for him to have said that, that's showing his true cause. I would never want him ever again. He basically said, hey, you on your own, help oh, you, you help the baby, hope y'all be straight. I won't be in the baby life. Like, how could you as a man have a kid, know you had a kid, and you don't want to be there for your... I just don't understand. Like, it's just crazy. And you already got a kid. I already got a kid. So you're going to take care of one, but not the other one. The baby is not even one, I don't think. But he has a kid already. Like, <laughs> from y'all's point of view, especially unbiased like you don't know him you don't know her like i don't know him i know her like what do y'all see about that like did, he, did she tell him that she was uh wasn't taking birth control anymore i don't think she did because she was still like on birth control she just like might have missed a day or two or something mm -hmm. or mm, i don't know how that really really went like she missed the day like around the time mm-hmm mm -hmm. And she, you know, basically... She, like, really didn't think nothing of it type? No, because, like, she knew her cycle was supposed to be coming up. Mm. It didn't. Like, mm. a week had gone by. It didn't. Like, two weeks had gone by. It didn't. So, she was like, I, I really might be. And she, and she didn't say anything to the two weeks? She said something, like, the first couple of days when it didn't show up. Mm. And then he just kind of brushed it out. Like, I mean, don't they come unpredictable anyway? Like type things you know because he's a dude like he don't really understand mm -hmm. so he she she mentioned it again it was still like he brushed it off brushed it under the rug but like the longer time went by the more like the more serious she started becoming about it and he just oh man no oh, like you on your own you what <laughs> what like this so was he unprotected yeah and like they agreed on it and stuff yeah because okay, so you know how do you unprotected and you agreed on it you know the precautions yeah, you know, know what can happen yeah. and it's more so a him thing because and he don't be wanting to use protection and he be wanting to feel it he be wanting to and since you already got a kid you should know exactly you don't want no more you, you should definitely know baby. you should be taking control and be like hey <laughs> that's why I just can't understand like how are you mad at her about that when it's a you thing like you have just to pull it out. out pull out my friend just wrap it up wrap it up wrap it up it's even better like right then too and then she tried to say like I mean I don't want to do anything else with him but at the same time if I don't do it with him like I don't have anybody else to do anything with it's so okay. she was like don't settle that's so she was pretty much she like, you know, I just buy condoms just to keep on. Mm -hmm. That's another thing, like, y'all, I know. This might eat. This might eat. I need that whole situation would have just did it for me. Like, I and see leave. what you would right. have said if the situation was true. So I'm not 
especially that because that's a serious yeah. situation too like having a baby and stuff like and you serious. telling me i'm on my own right good luck like you don't even care about our friendship or what we used to talk about or anything like it's just fuck me yeah that would have been the end of that right and it's just crazy because like like not just specifically saying about her as far as like staying in situations that's that you know is no good for you because we all do it yeah true or have been there at least once in my life but i know so many people that are in relationships that shouldn't be like i'm talking about from ranging from getting beat on getting jumped on um to everything in between y'all and people still but i love him like baby what tina turn to say what love got to do with it because <laughs> look who right and i'm talking about like i know we all have our stupid moments where we choose to put up with stuff when we know we should be gone but it's certain things yeah, you shouldn't even tolerate in our tolerate. younger days yeah. in our younger days too like but you should be able to grow up and mature and especially if you didn't like been in a situation before like don't keep repeating uh -huh. the same cycle over and over again because that's not good either. you didn't already learn yeah. learn and it move takes on mistakes yeah and don't keep making the same mistake over again Cause that one mistake really showed true colors, and after that, it's like mm -hmm. I've seen your true colors. Like there's nothing else you can do to me, say to me, prove to me, none of that. Right. Cause I I know who you are now. I know what you're about. When people show you that, believe it. The first time, don't ask God for signs, and when He show you, you now you can't see. Yeah. I need don't another ask one. Something you're not ready for. <laughs> I need Cause another Cause they gonna sign. show you. <laughs> they show how it be. Hey, but uh, it's up to you. Another one. <laughs> <laughs> another one. I want I'm to make sure. sure. Yeah, I want to be like sure. Like, nah, nah, this ain't it. He was just, he was just playing. And then when that big sign come, he be crushed. He be like, damn. Right, right. Okay, I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. Okay, I hear you. <laughs> like, I just really know people who are in relationships going through a lot. I'm talking about much older than us. Like, I'm 22, 22, 22. Until November. Um, so November, November, baby. <laughs> yeah, Scorpio. That was last, whatever, the other video. But, like, I'm talking about people, like, y'all free are older than us getting jumped on while they're pregnant, um, getting hospitalized because crushed everything then, on the inside. Like, the thing, too, like, people, what I was going to say? What I was going to say? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's what say. oh like you can't listen to like people don't listen to everybody like they have to actually be ready to do it themselves uh -huh. yep, which is why I learned I, it. yeah which is why when people and then like wait let me say two different things when some people will ask you for your opinion on something and you tell them mm -hmm. and they get mad at you because you didn't say what they wanted you to tell them Okay, and then there are the people, like you said, like, you have to let them go through their own mistakes. I don't mm -hmm. care what they say. Like, I just listen to people talk now. I'm like, dang, girl, he collapsed your lungs. You yeah, was in the yeah, hospital for three weeks. Most of the time, what they want dang. is to somebody to listen. I be like, had they back it for the moment. They be like, like, they really just be wanting to vent, but they basically. say it as a, you know. Yeah. They was like, yeah, girl, he collapsed my lungs. I was in the hospital a month. I was like, oh, dang, for real? Yeah, but I'm better now. I'm finna go back home to him. All right, you do that. <laughs> You'll be calling me again soon. Don't worry about it. Back in the hospital. Like, it's just, I just, I'm gonna speak for myself. I wish a nigga would put his hands on me. Baby, that'll be the day. If I can walk up out of there, trust and believe. You have to kill me for real, for real. Because I ain't going back. And that's a lot of, that's a, the problem. Like, a lot of people, when you try to lead dudes, they be like, if I can't have you, nobody can. Like, relax. It's seven billion trillion people on this planet. You yeah, will they, find you another fish. They call us anything. crazy, but they really, they really, really do. They really be OD and with they stuff. Yeah. Because they be in their feelings. Yeah. A lot. Like they, really they can't handle that like we do. We strong with yeah. it sometimes, but mm -mm. they can't handle it. It's crazy. Okay. Um. <laughs> what's the worst sneaky link story y'all have? Oh, Lord. <laughs> what? Sneaky link story y'all have. Uh, I don't have no worse. I don't have no worse story. Where's Sneaky Link? What is that? Why do you want to have that? You never heard of a Sneaky Link? link? Mm -mm. This girl ain't never oh, had no Sneaky Oh, my goodness. I've, what, I'm just saying, what is it? Like, I've never heard that Like, term. meeting up with a dude or whatever it was. Okay. Sneakily. Yeah. Like, y'all yeah. linking on the low. Like, basically, what Meg is saying. Late, um, yeah. late night yeah. creepers. Okay. Yeah. Like, what Meg is saying. 
I L for him on the low. Yeah. We never show up together, but I text him when I'm ready to go. Period. So you ain't never had one? Yeah, I'm thinking. <laughs> I don't want to go first. I ain't going. <laughs> okay, Urban Dictionary <laughs> says like a sneaky link is an appointment or a link that a female or male makes so that one and another can meet. No one but them supposed to know on these links. What mm -hmm. you mean by worse, like the sex or the Something situation? that could have gone wrong. Okay. Yeah. It could be about anything about the situation. Anything. Linking with them, leaving them, doing with them. All of my sneaky links was pretty much successful. Yeah, I'm thinking, I'm like, nah, that's not heavy. I don't think I have one. So, you're the only one who got one, sis. Who said I have one? Let me you think. Got one I'm trying to think. <laughs> Where's your sneaky link? Well, we can say our best sneaky link then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say the worst was when I almost got killed. Killed? He was trying to kill me because if he couldn't have me, nobody could. Um, Nigga. Like, best? Like what? what? Like what you mean kill you? Like he literally tried to choke me to do. During, During our sneaky link? Mm, like, we didn't even, okay, it was supposed to be a sneaky link, but the link didn't even sneak. The sneak didn't even link because... He get out on that ride ride like, no, you know what you're doing. Like, this is going to be it for you. You're not coming back. If I can't have you, so y'all already can. No, already, we didn't do anything. No, I'm saying y'all already had beef or something like before I this. broke up with him. Okay. He couldn't accept it. Uh -huh. He was trying to talk and trying to get me back. And I was like, I mean, I listened to it, but like, now nah, I really was going to put myself through it again. I thought Wait, about pause. it. Wait, pause. Do y'all see these guys blinking? Am I the only one who's seeing these guys blinking? It's just you. I haven't noticed it. Oh, yeah, I see that one. It's like one, two, and three. Like, they just keep flickering. And y'all don't notice it? I ain't saying a thing. I'm sorry. Y'all know I got ADHD. <laughs> but, yeah, like, we didn't even do anything. I was going to tolerate that all over again. And then, like, myself was telling myself, look, stupid, don't do that no more. And I was like, look, I can't even put myself through that. Like, I can't even put myself through that no more. And I was like, look. And it's like, it never even happened a lot. It was just that one time when I said I was done, I really was done. I didn't go back until, like, he kept stalking me, leaving notes on my car. Um, Why y'all gotta to, be so crazy? Trying to come up to my old job, thinking I still worked up there. Um, knowing what gas station I would go to by my house and... Knowing what like bank I would use by my house, I had to change up my whole routine. I'm like, look, I'm, I'm not gonna, gonna keep, say so. How did you like, I'm not gonna keep stuff. ducking and dodging. Like I told my mama, I told her about it. She was saying, oh, you need to get a restraining order. Like I don't like that. Think about it. A restraining order, like nothing but a piece of paper downtown. If you in my face, what a piece of paper downtown got to do with anything? I was like, look, if you gonna kill me, you gonna kill me. I'm gonna die one day anyway. I'm not gonna change my life. I'm not gonna be running and dodging from nobody. You know where I be. I don't be hiding. I be in the same spots. If you want me, you really got come come on. And that's how I really had the mindset of it, whatever. But like I said, this was after the sneaky link happened. So, you know, we pull up or whatever. He like, So you gonna spend the night with me? I'm like, No. I've never spent the night with you. I'm not finna start now. So they angered him first. He like, So we gonna get a hotel room? I'm like, hmm, hmm. I said, Look. I thought I was gonna do this, but I'm not really even feeling it no more. Like, the only reason why I really went, y'all, he owed me money. He had my money. I was thought I was going to go get my money back, and a whole bunch of BS escalated. And he had given me the money, but he snatched my phone. And he was like, "Well, when you meet me at the hotel, you can get your phone back." I'm like, "Baby, look, you can have the money." Threw it in his face. He hit him in his lip. He got mad. So that's really what started the altercation. And he took my AirPods, threw them. One went one way, the other went the other way. The case went another way. Trying to get my AirPods. He already got my phone. Tried to get it back. It was just a whole lot going on. I'm just like, look, it's just me and him here. Anything can happen. I could die right here. Nobody would ever know. But somebody was on the phone with me, and she heard everything that was going down. She heard him say something about a gun. And she said, when I still had one of my AirPods in my ear, she was saying, Amber, he got a gun on him. Like, you need to be careful. She said, because I heard her mention it several times. She said, I know you probably want to listen to mine. She hit my ear. He didn't know I had the AirPods in, and I was just like, 
I know he carried it around him and it usually be in his pocket or on his waist. Found it. It was in like back here. Tucked behind his shirt. I was like, well if he don't kill me, he just gonna kill me. Ain't nothing I can do, it's just me and him. Tried to drive away, couldn't get away. He had my phone, I'm like, look, what's up? Like, what do you want? I want you, if I can't have you, nobody can start choking me. Um, like, almost to the point of me being unconscious. Like, I really felt myself slipping. Like, I really felt myself leaving here. Like, I felt like if I had seen my face in the mirror or something, like, I was probably blue in the face. Like, losing oxygen for real. I'm just like, look, it ain't even all that. Ended up getting away, y'all. Uh, it was like, I thought it was like an abandoned building, but apparently it was like some apartments. And sorry about that, y'all. Little technical difficulties. Ugh. Okay, so y'all, like I was saying, basically, um, started choking me or whatever. The guy pulls up. He called the police. He saw me. He saw him. He saw the struggle. Called the police, and I was like. In my head, like, by the time they get here, it might be too late for me. And, like, he never left. Like, y'all, he sat right there and he was watching me. Like, he never got out, which probably is for the best that he never tried to get out. But he never left me either. Like, he was literally sitting in his car. From Bruce Jones, didn't even know him. Didn't know him from Adam. He sat right there and I was, I saw him talking on the phone. I said, I bet he called the police. I told him, I said, he just called the police on you. You already been in jail before. You go, this time you losing your son. You gonna be in there for life. I don't care about that. It, it, like I said, if I can't have you, know how to lose up. As long as you gone, I can be gone. It's cool. I was like, oh, okay. If you want me gone, come on. And how long y'all was um, talking or whatever? Couldn't get away. It was like maybe an hour or so. I'm talking about like the oh, relationship. How long we together? Yeah. Like maybe a year. Mm -hmm. Not long enough for you to be crazy. It wasn't even all that. Like, y'all, we never went on dates. We never nothing. Like, all we did was eat and eat. Not in no restaurant, like, we didn't, he didn't take me out, he didn't do none of that. I got tired of it. Like, I feel like, mm-mm. Yeah, he got you, mm. sorry. You had a hard baby mama, like, why are you obsessed over me? You have a hard baby mama, like, go get back with her. Leave me alone. Yeah, bitch, you didn't tell her that. Can't nobody have you. Like, no, like, go away, leave me alone. So y'all really want to know why I'm unsure about stuff? Like, I've seen a lot, been through a lot. <laughs> yeah. So like best sneaky link story. I have a lot of those. My memory is bad. I have a lot of those. I have to really think. Yes, sir. I haven't did a sneaky link in so long. So <laughs> just tell me about <laughs> it's it. It's just like I don't sneaky I don't link think me, about those please. Sneaky link me, please. <laughs> I haven't done them in a while either. Moving right along. Okay, the next topic is like different people's accents from different cities. Like, I guess, like, I, I don't know. I didn't understand the question when I got it, but I guess my favorite accent by far, British accents and New Orleans accents. Cause they are so cute to me. I like um, New York too. And um, Jamaican me crazy. <laughs> Jamaican. I like, uh, yeah, I like Jamaican. I like Russian accents. I don't even know what they sound like. Like, from the movies, I just like their accent. I've never talked to somebody that's re actually Russian. But Would y'all date outside dry race? No. I don't know. I couldn't. I can, like, probably be friends, yeah. but I don't friends, think, yeah. like, I, yeah, because I've had friends like, outside of race. But living in different cultures and stuff, y'all know I'm a basic basic you too i'm so. not finna go to thailand and try to <laughs> no like mm, y'all i'm be like y'all have chicken things in your face <laughs> honey mustard honey mustard and ranch <laughs> but this um little mexican dude did used to like me in middle school though <laughs> he stayed next i had a me. mexican that liked me too in middle school like, his name was, was rudy cool, though like he wasn't really mexican mexican but he was like one of them little black mexican oh no know, this dude yeah. was mexican mexican baby <laughs> like fully mexican and he liked me. I, I, he was cool or whatever. Like he had been around black people so long, you could you could see the blackness in him. I'm just like, nah, buddy, no. Just keep it in a color. <laughs> keep it in a color. <laughs> yeah. That's all the topics. Yep, y'all. 
is pretty much it y'all her a near-death experience for me i didn't want to get that personal with y'all but she asked me i ain't i was gonna skip that question i ain't <laughs> had one but y'all got anything else y'all want to talk about before we end it what you got going on now since school ended for you um well i found a job leasing and i'm uh, in the process of getting ready to go to culinary school yes, practicing until then thank you um, i'm in between moving right now it's really stressful but other than that everything else is going pretty good how was y'all weeks like y'all had a good week was it stressful? Did y'all have to overcome obstacles? My week was stressful per usual. Now, I know y'all saw that flickering. No, I didn't. I definitely did It, not. like, dimmed and everything. <laughs> I definitely did not. Oh, my goodness. Uh, comment down below if y'all see this flickering <laughs> that she is talking about. Because, baby, I don't see it. I know Is it because my eyes? Oh, like, I don't see it. Mm. Now she got me looking at the light. <laughs> See, look, it do okay, it every I time. See, see? see? okay, then okay. okay. one time, y'all. <laughs> yeah, sure. yeah, sure. This I'm once, like I really did not see. It. Yeah, I be noticing the littlest stuff for real. Like I can see a bug all the way across the room. Yeah. The bugs, mm. yes. The the lights, <laughs> no. <laughs> it's not the lights for me. Like but, I can see anything moving. But I mean, even nobody. How was your week? You didn't answer. I mean, my week, my, my week, my week. <laughs> like my week starting off was good. Like I was being productive, getting everything I wanted to do done. Cause like most of the time, like I start off my day with saying everything I want to do that day, but never get around to all the things I want to do. But this week, like I was getting around to everything I wanted to do. So it was pretty productive. And then, but besides the situation from yesterday, everything was cool. And that other situation. From the other situation. Of the week work that situation too <laughs> that, well i don't even want to talk about mine yet so me neither i ain't ready <laughs> I talk about neither one of them situations i ain't ready but just stay tuned y'all just let us yeah. process it up here before i process it with y'all even on our bad week y'all we still come out here and smile for y'all try to keep a good you know attitude and stuff we work through it because this week baby face. been stressful it's been a wonderful it slapped books. me in the face Literally, for the books. 2020 has been a year for the books, cause baby. Yes, at this point, is. I could walk outside and see Spider Man walking down the street. <laughs> it wouldn't even shock me. I'd be like, "Hey, bro, what's up? How you doing? All right, you go." Like, out, y'all. Uh, at this point, anything could happen, and it wouldn't even shock me. So much weird, off the wall, unexpectedly too. Like. Out of nowhere. Relax, chill. It's like, just August. When everything right, started going good mm -hmm. and stuff, it's just boom. Back to the basics. Out this entire year, I probably had two minutes of good times this year. Literally. Because the rest been just one. I want to say two womp. minutes. I'd probably say two days. Out of, I'm gonna say we two in the eighth month, finna be in the ninth month. I done had two good days. Two good minutes for me. <laughs> and I'm so sad because the Ronda will still be here in November. And I wanted right. to have a wonderful birthday. How Can long do y'all think this one going to be here? Some like years. I do, because everybody keeps saying it's not going to go back to normal until at least 2021 or 2022. Comment below. It needs at to be gone. At least 2022. Like, it needs to be gone now. <laughs> it's slowly, you know, coming back to normal, kind of, but, but we still, still got to wear, like, every, masks and stuff. Yeah, like, every time we try to go back to normal, the cases spike up again. It's yeah. just like, I ain't going to lie. Do I'm not a conspiracy not theorist. It's find a cure. The theorist. I'm not a conspiracy that is true. theorist, but I think the government did it. They released that shit. But I mean, that's neither here nor there. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion. It's just real strange to me though how it just popped up like that. And uh, I'm not gonna get into it. <laughs> but anyway, so fast hope you enjoyed the video, you all. Girl Talk episode four it's featuring you. Key and Key. Am this. and Key TV. <laughs> yeah, but you think you will join us for more videos? Yes, I did you enjoy well. this video? I did. Yeah, first girl talk. Okay, so you know, you might see her around real, real soon. You never know. We might be cooking something good. Literally. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> but, you know, stay tuned, you guys. Make sure you like, comment, 
subscribe. My hair coming out, y'all. <laughs> I'm over here playing with it, so wait, you gotta say that again. <laughs> you gotta say that again. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, subscribe. <laughs> um, comment down below your opinions on any of the topics that we discussed. Um, we want to hear your stories too, if you have some. Yes, feel free to you know add us on social media. Our links are in the description box below. We will also include her links so you can add her on social media as well. Run her up, run us up. Share this video with your friends. Um, let's at least get it to 10 likes. We probably will suppress that, but if we can get 10, really appreciate we it. Really we appreciate love it. you guys. We love you, AK family. And until next time, I know this video is late upload. Don't get mad at us. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Remember but, to pray and stay out the way. Be and until safe. night. Night. <laughs> And until next time. Ooh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ooh. And until next time. Bye. You gonna say what's up y'all with us? We count. One, two, three. What's up y'all? Welcome back to Family TV. You ain't gotta say the welcome back though. We just, but just up say what's up. Alright. Count us out. One, two, three. Right Alright. Okay. Read the message. <laughs> this is like can't make it my own. <laughs> Dang, they bright. Yeah. Well, I guess I really don't see it from shady. I don't know. I'm like, damn, I'm getting blanket up. Thumbnail. <laughs> Thumbnail. Okay. Just take a picture. <laughs> so we can screenshot it and see which one we want to use. Wait, let me get a bottle. A bottle? Girls talk. Girls talk. Y'all want bottles? Yeah, I've been asking. Might not be what you want. My water's still over there. Let me get it. 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 Let me get